weekly vlog. This one is not off to a great start. I don't know if you can tell from my voice. I'm not well. Um, this is a morning I just woke up and had like a throat thing and my head was hurting. So I stayed home from work and basically napped all day. I'm not feeling too much better today to be honest but duty calls. Have to go in and do some stuff. Also because I'm going to Belgium tomorrow. Yeah there's a lot to do in a short amount of time. I have to come home and pack and everything so yes that was a real downer start to the vlog isn't it I need to try and think of something good to talk about um, oh I know last night I bought my ticket for VidCon 2016 so that is a very good thing in fact I just cheered myself up by talking about it I'm very excited um, VidCon last year was amazing. Well, wait, this year. VidCon this year was amazing, so I'm really looking forward to going back again. Okay, that's a much more positive note. Now I'm gonna head to work and try and get through the day. I've got a lot of Panadol and Lemsip to keep me going. had a super quick dinner of soup and garlic bread because there's a lot I will need to get on with tonight. I don't think that was a sentence. I need to pack my bag for Belgium tomorrow and I want to show you my bag. I bought this little thing just recently. It's one of those like hard suitcases that's like exactly the right size for the carry-on bin because my last suitcase, if we come into this scary dark cupboard, is this thing here and like it's the perfect size when you squash the front in but because when I pack it with clothes obviously it puffs out and just looks bigger than it actually is and also because I'm a notorious overpacker it always looks bigger than it actually is so I got sick of the stress of every time I'm in like line to get on the plane worrying that they're gonna think it's too big and try and make me check it in or that they would just make me put it into the you know the, the wire thing the basket and then it wouldn't fit and it would just be embarrassing I don't know so this one here is, I know is exactly the right size don't know why I bought white because that's gonna get dirty really fast and Mark told me that and I still bought it but t-shirt printed I'll probably try and post that tomorrow on my way to the airport, possibly. I think that's how I'll fit it in. This t-shirt was an order for Marivon. I hope that's how you say your name. I'm probably butchering that. Please let me know in the comments. She's a viewer of mine. She always comments on my videos and I always really love her comments. So hello Marivon if you're watching. And this is your t-shirt, which you should have in your post box in however long the UK mail takes to get it to you. <laughs> Wednesday and I am at Gatwick Airport, ready to go to Belgium, just about to go and check where my gate is. I've had a very busy day, as per usual, when I go somewhere, I don't know. It's just one of these days I'll be perfectly organised and perfectly on time and nothing will be stressful, but today was not that day. Right, gate 560, here we go. We've made it to Belgium! Fem is here. Hello. We are both very, very, very hungry. So Stop. yeah, we can't think straight. Um, we've made it to our Airbnb. Let me show you around. Super nice. It's really nice. So this is our bedroom. Ta -da -da. And if I can work out how to turn the light on, well, this is the very fancy bathroom. Two sinks, so we don't have to share. Bath, shower, then. We've got like our own little living room area as well. Very fancy. And this is apparently a really nice view, but we have to yeah, we'll show you in the morning. wait for the morning here. Yeah. <laughs> We've just ordered some pizza. We ordered Domino's. <laughs> <laughs> so low. Uh, yeah, we came all the way to Belgium and ordered Domino's. But the website, we could order online without having to talk to someone in French on the phone, so it worked. Bonus. Yeah, and now we're just looking at the schedule for the design conference we're going to tomorrow. Do you want to plan?
Tim and I have arrived for the day at the Théâtre de Nemours. Oh, good. It was good a great pronunciation. Anyway, we're here waiting for um, us to be let into the conference room and then we're going to start the day. We've got this wonderful program that has metallic gold ink, which obviously us design nerds love. Yeah. some burgers depends in the middle of for lunch and we're gonna go check out what is in this tent over here we've left the conference and then come to the train station and then we waited for like how long then I don't know at least an hour I think we waited at least an hour and our train was delayed. Can you see the board? Yep, there you go, delayed. Is Femme looking really impressed? <laughs> so now I think, yes, we're finally on the way. <laughs> we're actually moving. Just then. <laughs> this right here is my home for the night. I am staying one night in Brussels by myself and then exploring around the city a little bit tomorrow before I leave like mid-afternoon. Have I said that already? I might have said that already. Right now I think that I am going to have a shower and then maybe curl up in bed and read my book or something because I feel like I've been working a lot and also like at a conference you're like getting all these ideas and like your brain is busy all of the time and I just feel really tired to be honest. So I'm going to get some rest so that I can be fresh for exploring. Good morning. It is Saturday and I thought I would take the use of this mirror here to do an OOTD before I head down for breakfast. I'm in my hotel still obviously. I'm gonna go out and do like my own little walking tour of Brussels today I think. I've saved a few places on Google Maps. I'm just gonna wander around and like read the guidebook app and yeah see some stuff. So today I'm wearing my Lifer t-shirt from landonokids.com. You can go and look at that t-shirt down below. Um, that's my brand in case you're new to this channel and thought that was really weird. I'm wearing this flannel from Primark, black jeans, and my normal boots that I wear all the time. I'm gonna go down for hotel breakfast. Bye, my lonesome. It's about nine o'clock in the morning, and I've had breakfast, checked out of my hotel. And I'm on my way to explore. I have a bunch of places saved on my maps. And I just really like looking at buildings. Like, that's what I like doing most in cities. I just love looking at architecture. I think because I come from a country that doesn't have old buildings. Like, New Zealand is a pretty young country, you know, in comparison to the whole of Europe. So seeing lots of old architecture is awesome for me. down here has something That's what always happens to me when I'm in a place. I didn't go searching for it, just ran across it. It's like I have six cents for shocks or something. Something funny about language is that I learned French from like when I was in year three till year 13, so like all throughout high school and part of primary school when I was in Bruno. So I know a bit of French, but 
for some reason here, when I go to say something to someone in the shop and I try to think of what to say, all that comes to mind is the Spanish for whatever I'm trying to say because I suppose I've been learning that more recently. So that's really awkward. I keep going to say gracias to people instead of merci. And I'm sure they think I'm very weird. I'm very lost. I'm fairly sure this is the place I'm supposed to meet Eden at, but... says that this right here, that GPS dot needs to, yeah there you go, this is the station, but then that doesn't say it's a station. I found Erin! I was waiting in completely the wrong place, but luckily by the time I got there she was still waiting for me. <laughs> Thank you. We've, we've got Starbucks and Eden's going to take me and show me some things. I came to the square earlier but she's already told me like stuff about that building. Wait, no, this one. This is the town hall. Yeah. And what all these houses are. So it's good to see Brussels with a local. I made it to the airport on time. I was a bit worried I was going to be late because I'm always late for these sorts of things, but she showed me where the train was and things like that. So, Eden, if you're watching, thank you so much for that. It was really nice to just wander around and hear stories about Brussels from someone who lives there because earlier, obviously, as you saw, I was walking around looking at buildings just by myself, but it means so much more to like hear little facts about them and stuff, which I guess is why people pay for tour guides. But yeah, I'm losing my voice slightly. I don't know if you can tell. I sound a bit like a man. So I should stop talking now. This is my gate. And boarding hasn't started yet, so hopefully we can get on the way soon. Also, I've done so much walking today. I'm fairly sure that I have blisters on my poor feet, even though luckily there's my most comfortable shoes. Yeah, I think I did like a solid four to five hours worth of walking. landed at Heathrow and I'm about to get on the tube and I'm about to lose my voice so I'm gonna say goodbye and end this vlog now. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more travel vlogs because I really love filming them. This is I know this is gonna be one of my favourite videos to edit recently. I'm sorry if it was a bit of a long one, I just obviously felt like talking to the vlog a lot more this week and that's probably why I have lost my voice. So Thank you for watching. Let me know about your week down below in the comments. If you've ever been to Belgium before, let me know. Maybe there was something that I should have done but didn't. I don't know. And I will see you in the next one.